Yo, what is going on, my BDG brothers, man? Look how lively the park is right now. Look at all these new players. We got a new park, 2K Beach. Apparently, it's not a park no more. It's a beach, but hey, man, it looks lively. You know, it's a good day to be a 2K fan because everyone's just having fun. Everyone's complaining about shooting, but I really haven't had an issue, at least in my career. I haven't played park yet. I'm going to grind my badges for a little bit uh, before I get into my first game so I can show y'all gameplay of the, what the build is at, like, not max potential, but, like, you know, so you can get a, a good feel of what it's like and just how it plays out before you make your decision on whether you want to make the build or not. But, look, I'll see y'all in the future. I'm going to grind out for, like, a couple hours. I'm going to come back, and we're going to be playing in the park. And, yeah, let's get to that, man. All right, so... Fast forward uh, about six hours after grinding my badges, I try to load up a park game. As you can see, you know, it's just not loading. Like for some weird reason, the parks didn't load. I mean, not the park, but the games didn't load. I don't know if it's like a 2K server glitch, but this happened right after the update. So I don't know if they screwed some up, but you can see the other people on the other side of the court. You can see them waiting as well. And if you look really far back, even the threes court, nobody's playing. Like, nobody can get a game to go. Nobody's loading in. It's like a fried park. Like, you know, when some people boot the park, the entire park, nobody can load in. That's what's happening, bro. I don't know why. Like, I even loaded my game back up to see if it was just that one one uh, server. And I'm not going to lie to you. That shit just did not work. I loaded back in, and I see another game where people are just sitting there and not playing. Now, I have no idea how long this is going to last. I don't know if this is, like, a glitch or some. 2K got to, like, drop a patch or some. But it's just, it's really, it's sad, bro. Like, I hopped on to 2K to play the damn game, and I can't even do that. But I guess I'm just going to have to grind my badges a little bit more, uh, get my playmaking badges. I only have, like, six, I think. I guess I'll get some of those. But in the meantime, I guess I, ha I have to show you the build with no gameplay, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is, man. All right, so here is the build y'all wanted, man position you want that at a point guard your hand is it really doesn't matter what you do for your jersey number that don't matter i'm gonna choose one because that's what i'm rocking with right now uh for your skill breakdown aka your pie chart you want to go all the way down to yellow and green that should give you elite ball handle and elite shooting basically the only build you should be making if you want a perimeter guard uh for your physical profile you want to go pure speed and that should give you 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 64 vert, and 46 strength. You don't really need that much strength. You're going to be a guard anyways. Uh, for your close shot, you want that at an 82. Your driving layup, you want that at an 80. And your driving dunk, you want that at a 64. Now, your standing dunk, you want that at a 41. That should give you three badges. You want to max out your mid-range shot. Uh, same thing with your three-point shot. You want to max that out as well. You'll get an 87. Now for your free throw, you want that you want to have that 89, just one off, and your post fade at a 55. That should give you 22 badges in total. Now for your pass accuracy, you want that at 88, your ball handle at 87, and your post moves at a 44. That should give you another 22 badges. Uh, you don't want to touch your interior D, your perimeter defense, you want that at a 75, lateral quickness at a 75, and your steal at an 80. Uh, that should give you enough to steal inbound passes and stuff like that. And you want to put the rest into defensive rebound. In total, that should be 53 badges. Uh, body shape built, obviously. Big body. Uh, height. I'm going to do 6'4". Uh, this is the shortest I've ever been in any 2K. Now, for the weight, I'm going to do 181. Uh, I suggest you do minimum. This is just for me. I like looking a little bit big. Pause. Don't take that out of context. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with 181. Just because it's just, I like that weight for some fucking reason. Your wingspan, you could do minimum. It should give you plus four in your shooting stats. But for this build, I don't want to really be a terrible defender. And I want to unlock some of those dunk packages when I hit 98. So I'm just going to keep it max. You can do anything you want with it. You can even do minimum if you want. Now for the takeover, I chose shot creator. Obviously, you can pick whatever you want. You do playmaker, uh, shot creator, spot up shooter, slasher. Any of these will be fine. I'm gonna do sharp this video though, because honestly, it just depends on your play style. If you want to fade, choose shot creator. If you want to spot up, choose sharp. If you want to shoot from deep, choose sharp. If you want to break ankles, choose playmaker. If you want to, I don't even think you can get contact dunks, but if you want to be fast, pick slasher. That's really all there is to it, bro. But without further ado, let's get on to these badges, man. Now, with the finishing badges, honestly, I could do acrobat on silver, fancy footwork on bronze, but there's not a lot you could do with these badges, bro. You only get three, so it's whatever you want, to be honest. 
but for my shooting layout this is going to change but you want range extender or hall of fame obviously that's a must volume shooter on silver might change that though green machine hall of fame hazard on hall of fame dead eye hall of fame corner specialist on bronze catch and shoot on bronze and difficult shots on silver i might do difficult shots on hall of fame and but i don't know i this is gonna change just just know this layout is gonna change i might take off volume shooter i don't know how that works this year it's probably gonna work the same but yeah that might be the layout for now i don't really know but for my playmaking badges this is gonna stay the same every year well not every year but it's roughly the same dimer handles today is quick for step in and floor general that's it unpluggable and tie handles on gold like that's all you really need bro like that's literally all you need to be honest if you want to get ankle breaker go ahead but this is my setup all the time like 24 7 bro now for our defensive badges i'm gonna go clamps on gold pick dodger on silver and intimidator on bronze now i might switch it up depending on if i'm playing pro-am 3v3 or 2v2 uh, i might just do intimidator on silver pick dodger on bronze or i can take off clamps put pick bucket on silver just have that but honestly it depends on the situation uh i might just do intimidator and clamps on gold at the end of the day but i hope you enjoyed the build video but i got an announcement to make i need at least one center to run with for the rest of 2k21 like i don't care i don't care what build you got if you are good at your role i need you on the team man like, i don't care if you're a stretch i don't care if you're a paint beast i don't care if you're a glass clean lockdown glass clean finisher i don't care if you're a post score as long as you good at what you do and you have good iq hit me up man i need a center asap bro but that ends the announcement uh i'm signing off bdg is gone but make sure to hit that like comment sub noti anything show your early support 700 subs man i need it 10 more where that 10 where that 10 subs at my guy i need that need that but for real i'm off man peace